channel so on today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the seven wardrobe staples you need in your closet if you are a frequent reader of my web frequent reader that's a tongue twister of my website then first of all thank you so much for the support I truly appreciate it I'm really happy with the content that I've been producing lately over there so I love it when you guys let me know that you love it as well and second of all um, you may be familiar with the wardrobe staples I'm going to mention in this video because I did just post a blog post about wardrobe staples and it's more informative it's uh, more detailed and comprehensive because again it's written content as opposed to video but um, I'm talking about like what wardrobe staples are why you need them and then also providing you with a list at the bottom of the post of every wardrobe state or every wardrobe staple broken out into sections by product type so definitely check out that blog post if you haven't already for even more information on wardrobe staples but for now let's get into the video so going down my list here, I'm looking at my phone where I kept my list of seven items. The first one is a denim jacket. So if you are a frequent reader or watcher of my content, then you may notice that denim is like the constant thread throughout my style. And that is because I love denim. It's so easy, it's so effortless, and it makes everything look a little bit more casual. And I feel like my style tends to lean on the side of casual more often than not. So you cannot go wrong with a denim jacket. It just instantly makes everything look a little more balanced. And if you feel too dressed up, throw on a denim jacket and you're good to go. A denim jacket will be your best option. So next on the list is a white t-shirt. I feel like this is pretty, you know, surprisingly, I would say that a white t-shirt can be hard to find your absolute go-to perfect white t-shirt. But it is a wardrobe staple because you need a basic white t-shirt in your closet. It goes with everything, but a white t-shirt is very versatile and can totally mix and match with everything in your wardrobe. White is like a universal shade. Wear it with whatever. You're good to go. Number three is the little black dress. I feel like everybody needs one good black dress in their wardrobe. I wouldn't necessarily tell you to go out and buy the like cocktail style of little black dress. I would tell you to go with what you feel the most comfortable in and what you feel the most confident in. So you don't necessarily have to follow the wardrobe staple guidelines to a T. You know, normally when people say on the wardrobe staple list you need a little black dress, they're thinking of like um, either a short sleeve or an elbow length sleeve long cocktail dress, something that you can wear, like uh, dress it up, dress it down, that kind of a thing. But if you're not comfortable in that type of style and you prefer more of a like fit and flare dress, I would just say go with what you feel the most comfortable in, but definitely have a black dress in your wardrobe. So next on the list is a graphic tee, and this is one of the two items that I did not add to my website, and I didn't realize it actually until earlier today when I was going to reach for a graphic tee, and I thought about how it's a really good essential for your closet. But a graphic tee is a must-have. You don't need a whole lot. I mean, I have quite a few graphic tees. You know, I have a lot of um, logo and slogan tees. Not as much as I used to now that I think about it, but I do have, you know, a good mix. But I would say you only need, you really only need one, maybe two. I would recommend, maybe three, actually. I would recommend one that's white with any sort of graphic, one that's black with any sort of graphic, and then one that's a color that you feel really confident in. For me, I would pick red or um, like a mustard yellow or an olive green. But yeah, I would say one bold color and then two of the black and the white. And that will be your graphic tee collection. But starting out, just pick one. You just need one. It'll go with everything. Trust me. Number five. This is another one that I did not add to my... Well, I kind of mentioned it at the bottom of my post, but I didn't necessarily add it to the list. And it's not even fashion, actually. It's beauty. And it is a red lip. Red lips are an essential, okay? But I understand that a lot of people who don't regularly wear red lips or never really venture out into the color world feel like they can't wear a red lip. And I'm here to tell you that you can. A red lip looks good on everyone. And half the battle with wearing a red lip is getting that thought, that mental block out of your head. Because I remember back when I never wore a red lip, I felt like I looked so weird with a bright color on my lip. I felt like it drew so much attention, like not the kind of attention that I would want. More like, oh my gosh, why is she wearing a red lip? Not, wow, she looks great with that red lip on kind of attention. But it's really all in your head. You just have to find the right shade, number one, which is so much easier now. And I think that if you are afraid of red lips, but you want to try and incorporate it because a red lip will honestly, you need it. It will make your outfit pop. It will make everything pop. It makes everything tie in together. 
you need a red lip. I'm rambling. I don't want to talk too long about this topic, but you need a red lip. So I would start off with a deeper shade of red if you are not comfortable with the bold and bright red lip. Number six is your go-to belt. And on my website, I recommend a thin belt. And I still honestly do. If I said, uh, I would just say your go-to belt. But when I say a belt, I'm thinking more so of just the traditional, like more thin belt rather than those wide thick belts. Because these have a little bit more versatility when you're trying to style it, whether it's in this current decade or the next decade or the past decade. A thin belt is like a constant item that you can wear and style with your outfits. Right now, I really love wearing thin belts to cinch the waist up because a lot of the items that I'm purchasing, like the outerwear and stuff, I'm doing like the long coats and I'm doing blazers and sometimes the blazers aren't structured in a way that they look very flattering. They can be very boxy and wide and so adding a belt over top of it will cinch up the waist and give you more of a fur, uh, like a flattering look. So I would do a go-to belt. My personal favorite is a thin leopard belt but again start with what you love. And we have made it to number seven and that is, oh my favorite, black pants. So black pants and denim, I think, in general, both of those two, I would tie together and say they are the constant thread in my personal style throughout the years because black pants, similar to a red lip, they just make me feel super pulled together, super confident. I just feel, you know, like my look is together. So black pants goes with everything. They go with everything. They can be dressed up. They can be dressed down. As you can see with all of these wardrobe staples I'm mentioning, that's kind of the key is finding something that can be dressed up and dressed down. Find the style that you like. I personally would recommend keeping the black pants style for a wardrobe staple as something that's more slim and fitted. Um, if you're not confident in that style, then you can go for a wide leg option, but I would stay away from the boot cut or the flare and stick more with either a wide leg or a slim fit. One or the other, but nothing in between. And we have made it to the end of the video, so I do hope you enjoyed it. Just to run down the list one more time in case you forgot, the seven wardrobe staples you need in your closet are one, denim jacket, two, white tee, three, little black dress, four, graphic tee, five, a red lip, six, a go-to belt, and seven, black pants. I do hope you enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to check out my website, vintyfashion.com. Again, this is not a comprehensive video where I'm giving you all of my wardrobe staples. You do have to go to my website to find out the rest. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, that is at Fenty Fashion. Leave a comment down below letting me know what are your wardrobe staples. And also, since this is kind of like the first official video of 2019, what is your word of the year? I started my year off with three different words, and just in my actions and my mindset, I have narrowed it down to one, and that word of the year is balance. So... Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go get ready for the rest of the day and leave a comment, subscribe, thumbs up the video if you liked it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!